to be able to answer a question as to how one baby differs from another, you have, we have no empirical evidence or no studies that would actually permit us to give you a sufficient answer for that. Because sleep, like so many other things, is integrated into the entire developmental schema of your particular baby. Your particular baby's feeding needs, your baby's growth rate, your baby's temperament insofar as what it fears, its need and desire to be close to you, to touch you, to hear you, etc. These are all individualized um, psychological and or genetic factors that are really hard to predict even from one member of a family to another. So I think the best thing you can do is perhaps not to have really clear expectations that your experiences with one child are necessarily going to be um, the same as another and or whether it's fair or legitimate or even useful to make comparisons between your baby and another baby. It could be that the very processes that require at this age for your child to be continuously waking up and to be quite an energetic demand on you might be the, the very characteristics that later in life prove to be extremely advantageous. That is to say that it uh, has a stronger gender identity or you know, requires less uh, attention when it's under stress or maybe that baby is more resilient having experienced all this affirmation and you know, positive um, reinforcement as an infant.